Well, welcome back to the channel. Here we are on this beautiful October day. 14 degrees. And it's absolutely beautiful. So today, I'm going to do a little review on this new zip hoodie I'm wearing. The road skin zip hoodie. So what we'll do, we'll go and find somewhere nice, a nice little spot, and I'll go through the spec of this zip hoodie. You'll find out, are zip hoodies any good? Are they any good in autumn? And are they any good for protection? So let's go and find a spot. Let's have a look at this top. Let's have a look down here. It's going to be somewhere to pull up. Here we go. Now will we get through that gap? Will we get through there? Easy. This will do nicely. Okay. I think we need a Thunderfoot. There we go. Okay then. Let's get the armlet off. Let's go through some of the spec on this jacket. We found a beautiful location. We were in October. And let's have a look what we got. Air temperature is 13 degrees. So we're down to 13 degrees. Right, so I've got this hoodie. Here it is, I've draped it over the bike. Road skin motorcycle wear. So it's a road skin zip hoodie. This is the material of it. It's a new material designed for road skin. It's called Maximite. It feels, best way to explain it, it feels like normal hoodie material, but it's also got like a plastic feel to it, like um, as if it's coated, like it's a waterproof. So the jacket is water resistant. It's double A rated. I believe it's the only double A rated zip hoodie on the market. RST do a zip hoodie, but I believe that's only class B rated. This is double A rated. So, you know, you're up there with the highest rating you can get. It's got elbow pads, which are in here, quite thick ones. Shoulder pads, and it's also got this very thick, I don't know if you can see how thick it is, a very thick back pad. So there we go. Double A CE rated. Now I've looked into this CE rating and it's it's quite in depth actually, the technology involved. Now the reason this logo stands for is CE double A rated, but because it's got a picture of a motorcycle, this CE rating has been has been tested and confirmed at that rating for motorcycle use. A lot of these pads you see, they will say they are CE rated, but they could be rated. CE rated, they're just rating the actual quality of the pad. So the CE rating, it could be from a skateboard pad. It doesn't necessarily mean it's fit for a motorcycle or can take the impact off a motorcycle if you come off. Where road skin, it is specifically designed for a motorcycle. It's got this nice mesh mesh lining in it. Now this mesh lining acts like um, a kind of a, best way to explain it, a slip barrier. So speaking to road skin and from their research what happens is normally on an impact when the skin bursts and rips a lot of that is your impact but the impact is against the material and basically it's like, it's like a friction. So basically that, that friction at that eye impact can cause the skin to burst. Now this is quite, you actually feel this when you put it on. This is quite a slippery material. And Road Skin have said this is designed, and it's the same in the jeans, it is designed as basically like a slip layer. So on impact, your skin 
won't get the friction off the material as it hits. It's kind of like a lubricated layer, let's say. It's the best way to explain it. Right, other features of the zip hoodie. It's got a hood. The hood does zip off. You can take the hood off and just wear it as a jacket. So it's 13 degrees today. Now I don't know if you can see on this camera I've got, if I try and show you my arm, all I've got on today is a t-shirt. A t-shirt and this zip hoodie. 13 degrees, it's absolutely fine. I don't know if you can see now, I've got a few goosebumps coming. It's a bit cold in the air. But honestly, with this on, it is windproof. It was absolutely brilliant. I mean, compared to my Oxford jacket, I didn't notice any difference from wind protection. So 13 degrees, that's more than capable of being fine. I could wear this all day long. I wore this when we did our Wales tour on the way back and we had rain and I think we was down to 14 degrees then. So I was very, very happy with it. It did the job, it fits nice, it's comfortable, it feels soft. One thing I will note, I don't know if it's a negative, but obviously this is, it is high quality stuff. 119.99, but it's, it's quieter than every jump. It, it basically, it feels the weight of a jacket. Because this material is very thick, so it does, it's not like the weight of a normal hoodie you get on, which you probably wouldn't notice the difference. This is, it doesn't feel like you've got a heavy coat on, but it's about the same weight as a coat. But it does feel, that feels the quality of it. So also speaking to Ian at Roadskin, he sent me some more information about this hoodie. And these are the words what he'd sent through. So the material is actually stab proof and slash proof. It's abrasion resistant, water resistant, and of course, AA, CE approved, along with level two armor. The outer shell is made from our own trademarked Maximite material, so it is unique to us. It's breathable for summer, and if you're riding in cold weather, it's ideal if you add a base layer underneath. So Roadskin also have five new products that are coming out in the pipeline. New leather jackets, new jeans, new cargo pants, and another hoodie. Actually, I'd be, I'd be interested to try the cargo pants. I do like cargo pants. You've also got, which was absolutely brilliant, I didn't figure it out at first, is you've got these loops. Now, let me grab a glove and I'll show you what we do with these. And I've never really thought about it, actually, with any other joke. Right, so I've got my glove on. Put my arm in the sleeve. And then what you do... This goes over the thumb, then when you're riding, whatever position you're in, it stops the sleeves coming up. And I'd imagine the same again is if you come off the bike, it would stop the sleeve rolling up. You can't feel this part. I, at first I thought I might feel this on my bars, but I couldn't. Absolutely brilliant idea that is. I never even thought of that, but that works brilliant. So there we go. That's the road skin zip hoodie. Ah, there's one there as well. So I'd imagine that is for fixing to the loop on the back of your jeans. So it is water resistant. To be honest with you, I wore it in the rain on the way back from Wales and I would go as far as say it was waterproof. I had nothing come through it, nothing at all. And it does feel, it is, as I said, it's like material. This is this Maximite. So I'd imagine it's like a Kevlar, it's a woven material. But it's got like a, it feels like, like, a, like a wax, a wax plastic layer to it. But I think it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, we're on 13 degrees now. I could wear that happily all day long. I'd say down to about 10 degrees, you'll be fine with that. Um, you know, you could put a long sleeve on, a, a jumper on underneath, and you'll probably be fine. With it. Actually, what I might do, I might try this out in the winter and just see. Probably do a comparison with my Oxford jacket and with the road skin and see what it's like. But I think it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Well worth the money. I mean, when the package came, the box it came and I didn't know that was from Roadskin and it was quite heavy and I thought, I thought, what have I ordered? I don't remember ordering anything this heavy. And when I opened it and I thought, wow, 
the quality of that, I mean, I mean, you can, it is, it's got some good, good quality to it. But double A rated, the only one on the market, I believe today, I may be wrong, but I believe that is the only one on the market. The padding is so thick. And class two padding as well, CE approved class two padding. So that's the road skin zip hoodie. I'll put some links up to it. So I would wear this in the summer as well. I mean, you can wear it without the padding. Um, what I have done is I've been out on the bike, took the hoodie off and you can actually wear it. I suppose it's like a day jacket. Let's see, let's try that. Let's, let's unhook this camera. Let's get this off and let's put the jacket on. Let's have a look. There we go. You can probably see, you can probably see the back pad there sticking out. Good elbow protection, good shoulder protection. We've got our little thumb protectors. We've got the logo, the badge on this side. We've got pockets on the front. Good thing with the pockets, they are zipped. There is a zip on the front pocket. So that's handy to put your stuff in. Not like most hoodies where if you put it in, it could fall out. Same again, this side, we've got a pocket. There's no internal pockets. But that's it. With the hood, the hood, is of the same material as the jacket. So the hood's waterproof. But I'm impressed with it. I like it, I'm happy with it. But it's always worth checking as well, the Road Skin website. There is always discount codes on there. If a discount code comes available through this through Motorev, I'll put it in the video now for you, a discount code. But um, it's brilliant, I love it. No longer need to wear my big Oxford heated jacket now only when it's proper winter and I need the extra liner in it. But then again, I could wear this underneath the Oxford Eater jacket and I think that would sort the lot. What a beautiful day it is. Let's go and spend the rest of the day riding round. There's my thumb loops. Brilliant idea. Right, so we've now got to figure out how to get the bike out of here. Right. Thunderfoot. Right, we're now down to 11 degrees. The temperature's dropping. So actually, I might get to ride this road skin zip hoodie at about 11, 10 degrees. So I think we can go a lot lower with it, to be honest. I honestly do. You know, you might need a long sleeve on it, a base layer. Right, can we get through? Oh, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Right. Let's go up here. Right. Let's go and spend the rest of this beautiful Sunday riding the bike. Well, there we go. There's the proof. It's 11 degrees. And I'm not cold one bit at all. All I've got underneath is a T-shirt. Not cold. I've only got my summer gloves on, so my hands are... They are getting cold now, I can feed it. But my body, I feel like I'm just wearing my winter jacket, but with a lot more flexibility. Very impressed with it. But I will do that test in the winter. I'll get down proper cold. We'll get down to one degrees, two degrees, maybe zero degrees. And we'll try it out, see what it's like. I bet this will be fantastic with my Gerbing heated jacket underneath it. Actually, that might be the best combo. My heated jacket underneath, the very thin one. Thin heated jacket, the Gerbin one, and this on top. Ah, that's a good idea, because the, the heated jacket and my Oxford jacket on, it is a bit bulky and you're quite restricted for movement. So I think I've just found the perfect combo. So till next time, we'll see you again. Oosh!
There we go. Ciao for now.